In this video, we're going to show you how we got 590% efficiency from a heat pump installed in an uninsulated and neglected 1950s, 1960s property, which also happens to be our office. If you're new to the channel, we're Heat Geek. We're the UK's leading experts in high efficiency heating systems, and in particular, renewables. In fact, we're currently training the next generation of heating engineers. Now, why am I telling you this? Last autumn, we installed a heat pump to heat our offices. This is partly an experiment as we have poor double glazing, little to no loft insulation, and no cavity wall insulation. These last two things being below the absolute minimum required to get a heat pump installed under the government grant. That winter, we also installed specific third-party monitoring equipment from Open Energy Monitor, which to many people's amazement, measured a cop of three or 300% efficiency in the cold month of December. This could have been even higher. However, we do have solar thermal heating on the warmer, more sunny days. And incidentally, that also caused the problem with this zone valve. During this summer, we completed an incredibly important improvement. Now we haven't installed cavity wall insulation. We haven't finally increased loft insulation. We haven't replaced the one, two, three, four, and number five. Nope, not five, four. This one's fine. Blown double glazed windows we have in the office. In fact, the only thing we have changed is the radiators. And two other smaller changes we'll tell you about in a bit. We removed all of the unusually small and often single panel radiators, which you might recognize from this video back in December, and replaced them with these radiators. And this had a dramatic effect. On October the 1st, we first turned on our heating, and after 42 days, we've ended up with an average cop of 5.16. In fact, after some tweaking, from midday on the 5th of November to midday on the 7th of November, we managed to average a cop of 5.9. That's 590% efficiency. That's despite the outside temperature, which is this purple line, not going above 13.5 and going down to 9.5 degrees Celsius. Don't get me wrong, this average cop will drop down come midwinter, but come late winter and spring, we'll spring back up again. But don't just take our word for it. Go down to the description and find a link to this, our Open Energy Monitor live feed, which is completely open to the public to peruse. After following the link, just click on the bar chart and that will allow you to drill down on further information. The incredible lesson here is you don't need Scandinavian superhouses to make heat pumps work. Only 40% of homes have 200 millimeters or above of loft insulation. Ours has half of that and our double glazing's blown. Just imagine how efficient this system would be with insulation. Yet we're still on track for an incredible scop. Poor insulation will end up with lower efficiencies, but it more just shows up poor design and commissioning issues. They don't actually prevent heat pumps from working. It's getting to the time where opinions need to be updated to account for good system design and modern heat pump efficiencies, which have increased. It's worth noting the two additional changes we made were that we changed our weather compensation from 0.8 to 0.6, uh, we adjusted some balancing, which can improve scop and efficiency in some scenarios. We will make a video on that. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. You'll get alerted of when that is. It's also worth noting that our heat pump is particularly good with particularly good controls. And it's not doing hot water. If you're gonna put hot water on this system, it probably would shave about 0.25 off these scop figures. The next step in our efficiency journey is to install loft insulation, uh, fill the cavity walls with cavity wall insulation, and probably repair the windows. In the meantime, however, why don't you follow the live link, follow and watch along with us to see how this system performs in the winter with very little insulation, and why not engage with us on Twitter? If you'd like to know what we did to maximize our efficiency in this inefficient property, watch our three steps to maximizing heating efficiency video and our best heat pump settings video here on YouTube. And if you're an engineer who'd like to install to this standard or perhaps higher, then make sure you check out our courses at courses.heatgeek.com. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.